This is a poem by Walt Whitman about New York City. I was asking for something specific and perfect for my city, whereupon lo, upsprang the aboriginal name. Now I see what there is in the name, a word, a liquid, sane, unruly, musical, self-sufficient. I see that the word of my city is that word from of old, because I see that word nested in nest of water bays superb, rich, hemmed, thick all around with sail ships and steamships, an island 16 miles long, solid bounded, numberless crowded streets, high groves of iron, slender, strong, light, splendidly uprising toward clear skies, tides swift and ample, well loved by me toward sundown, the flowing sea currents, the little islands, larger adjoining islands, the heights, the villas, the countless mast, the white shore steamers, the lighters, the ferry boats, the black sea steamers, well modeled, the downtown streets, the jobbers, houses of business, the houses of business of the ship merchants and money brokers, the river streets, immigrants arriving 15 or 20,000 in a week, the carts hauling goods, the manly race of drivers, of horses, the brown faced sailors, the summer air, the bright sun shining and the sailing clouds aloft, the winter snows, the sleigh bells, the broken ice in the river passing along, up or down with the flood tide or ebb tide, the mechanics of the city, the masters, well-formed, beautiful face looking you straight in the eyes, traders thonged, vehicles, Broadway, the women, the shops, and shows, a million people, manners free and suburb, open voices, hospitality, the most courageous and friendly young men, City of hurried and sparkling waters, city of spires and mast, city nested in bays, my city.